What normally happens is Mojang announces new features and then I parody them with a mod before they get released. But this time around, things are different. We're four days away from Minecraft Live and here's their page for it on Minecraft.net. And you know, seems normal. Watch Minecraft Live 2024. Watch the replay of Minecraft Live. We unveiled new features like the Pale Garden Biome News on the Bundles of Bravery Drop. What the heck? It appears they have published a page they intended to after the show. There's even more further down. Watch the highlights. Get the latest and greatest news from this year's show, a first look at the Pale Garden and its hostile mob, The Creaking, insight into bundles and hardcore mode, and I don't care about the rest. Since this is a leak, I can do something hilarious. For the first time ever, I'm gonna parody an update before they even announce it. I only have four days before Minecraft Live to make a mod and this video, so I gotta get to it. Because of the short time I have to do this, I'm calling the mod Bundles of Brevity. Haha, <laughs> get it? This drop is called Bundles of Bravery, but it seems like they've taken care of the first part. Here in the latest snapshot, they have implemented all the bundles, they're no longer experimental features, which means my mod will handle the bravery part, so let's discuss the Pale Gardens. All of this is going to be based on just a couple bits of text, so if you're watching this after Minecraft Live 2024, let me know how accurate my implementation was. What we know is that the Pale Gardens is a biome that has the creaking, which is a hostile mob. That's it, so the question is where do we put it? It could be the surface of the overworld, or the caves of the overworld, or the nether, or who knows, maybe even the end? My guess is that it's gonna be in the caves. This is my train of thought. Plants are green because they have chlorophyll to derive energy from the sun. Now, if a plant has evolved to live in caves, then it will not need to create chlorophyll. Therefore, it'll be pale. Pale like the pale gardens. What? I've added two new blocks for this biome. First is pale dirt, which will cover the floor of the biome. And then, as a pale plant, I've added the pale hedge. It's a little bit thinner than a block because it connects to itself like a fence. And you can use this to make a whole bunch of shapes, you can make arches. With these two blocks, I've created a mock-up of what a pale garden could look like. Again, let me know how accurate this was. And now, we need to add the creaking. Alright, I spent an hour on this, I tried my hardest to make it something scary. Please, do not laugh. This is the creaking. I know it's not looking too hot, but look, the arms, they, they go like this, and the legs, they go like this. Yeah, this is not great. Whatever, I'm on a tight schedule. So here it is, I've added it to the game. I also gave it creaking noises, and it will hunt you down. That was, you are not good at this, thank you, yes. Thank you. Alright, while I am not liking this model, I am liking the noises, and it got me thinking. The creaking, you know, maybe it could be even more unique of a mob. So here's attempt number two. The creaking door. I think this is perfect. Just imagine, you're chilling in the pale gardens, when all of a sudden, oh no, a walking door! Oh, it's so evil! Ow, it's slamming itself into me! Ah. Now that I've made a mock-up of the Pale Gardens, you'd think my work here is done, but I have a theory, and let me know if I get this right. Notice how the article says they're providing insight into bundles and hardcore mode. I know they've been working on hardcore mode for Bedrock, but given how simple hardcore mode is, is there really that much insight they could give? My theory is that they're making hardcore mode harder, so I've programmed one very simple change that should make hardcore mode a lot harder. Let's see how quickly I can know Notice it. All right, I need to find a cave. Is there a cave anywhere? Here we go. Okay, you should be able to notice that mobs will spawn and they won't stop spawning. There are 1,400 mobs in this world and it's going up. I have removed the cap or hostile mob spawns. All right, let's go into spectator mode to assess the damage. Look at this, these caves are packed with mobs. I would not want a hardcore playthrough of this. Okay, so I was gonna end the video there, but then I remembered something I coded nearly two years ago. I'm playing on Content SMP, which is a server where the members can add their own mods. I need to find a bundle. There we go. For this, I'll also need string and some dye. And I'll need some items for the bundle. So let's see, diamonds, enchanted golden apples, diamond blocks, netherite, that should be good. 
Okay, so what I've added is something that I feel like could be nice to see with this upcoming drop, and that is wrapped bundles. If I take a bundle, some string to wrap it, and then a die for the string, I get a wrapped bundle. Its contents are hidden, and so the only way to find out what's in it is to place it and unwrap it. I definitely made that animation real flashy, isn't that right, Raisin? Yeah. This axolotl has been swimming in this circle for like two years. By the way, this is from my mod Content Content, which is a completely separate mod, and I will not be releasing it. Not yet, at least. If you want to get your hands on this mod, Bundles of Gravity, then I'm releasing it right now to the people who have kindly supported me on Ko-Fi. The mod will be publicly released in three months. Anyways, I want a door to beat me up again. Thank you.